grew out of a series of columns I wrote for the New York Times about two years ago, which turned out to be surprisingly popular, as I found out when I gave lectures about it around the country. Let me show you this example in case you hadn't seen these columns. I, maybe just to calibrate the audience, it could be helpful. Um, you don't have to feel embarrassed or my feelings won't be hurt if you never read these. Can you put up your hand if you never read any of these pieces? Okay, look at that, you bastards. <laughs> anyway, there seemed to be a, a real hunger out there for a book about math that would approach the subject in a way that anybody could understand and enjoy. The Joy of X explains some of the most elegant ideas of math and shows their surprising connections in our daily lives. We'll see how Michael Jordan's dunks can help explain the fundamentals of calculus. I'll show you a simple and mind-blowing proof of that staple of geometry, the Pythagorean theorem. We'll try to get to the bottom of some of life's mysteries, big and small. How should you flip your mattress to get the maximum wear out of it? How many people should you date before settling down? And we'll see how vectors underlie everything from hurricanes to ballroom dancing. Math is everywhere if you know where to look. We'll spot sine waves and zebra stripes and hear echoes of Euclid in the Declaration of Independence. And we'll see how our lives today are being touched by new kinds of math as we search for restaurants online and try to understand, not to mention survive, the frightening swings in the stock market. It's written in a style that I hope you'll find friendly and warm. It's meant to be joyful. That's why it's the joy of X. And uh, I'm trying to connect math to really everything that's out there, from philosophy to business. Okay, that's all the time we have. Please buy this book, The Joy of X, by Stephen Strogatz. That was good, except that he didn't quite...